YouTube channel and um, today I'm doing a garden makeover and it's ages since I've done a DIY outside and um, so I just thought do you know what it is I may as well video it Um I was gonna so I've just said we've, we've had a holiday now and I've decided it's time to do the garden up it's not looking very good um, and I want to I've got paint all over my hands um, I want to change the garden from brown to grey so I've started painting it but I've also got a table over there um, <clears throat> which I was going to replace because I'll take it over actually um, I was going to replace it because it's just gone it's just wrecked basically underneath it's bubbled the water's got underneath it and it's gone all bubbly and I just thought do you know it's, it's a solid metal table with a glass top and it's actually structurally very sound but it just looks awful so I decided that I would do instead of buying a new table thought I would do a little DIY on it so I went to um, Wilkinson's and I bought some of this vinyl which was £9.50 and this is the DC Fix vinyl um, it was £9.50 and you get 2 metres on there 2.1 metres and 90 centimetres and that would be the perfect size for the table it would cover it perfectly so I was going to do that, but then after that I went into One Below um, and when I went into One Below I seen these tiles I've got a few bits to show you actually I've been picking up a few bits since I came back off holiday to do the garden up So I bought these self-adhesive self vinyl tiles and they were one fifty, and you get four in the pack and I went for the black marble and I thought these would be much harder wearing than the vinyl um, and I can cut them to size, they're easier to cut to size and I've worked with these before when i done my hallway well, like a different, like I got the other ones from Dunnell um, but they're the same concept, they're just a bit thinner excuse my hands, they're actually full of paint, I'm scruffy um, I've also been, so, so my plan is I'm actually going to tile the top of the table with them self-adhesive tiles um, I've started painting, I've been to b &Ms and I've picked up some of this paint Oh, no, I'll show you. Actually, I, I don't need to show you the tub. The, well, there it is, if you can see it. Um, but I've already started. I'm going to turn the camera around so I can show. Started painting the deck in grey, so it's had that's had one coat. Well, some of it's had two, and I'm letting that dry. I'm going to do all of the deck in grey. We've also bought an egg chair that Michael's putting up at the moment, and that's grey. Um, these planter boxes, which I painted yellow last year, that you can see there, I've just spray painted that dark grey and put like I, I sprayed the butterfly chrome and stuck that on I've got some plants down there to go in there um, also when I was in B&M's picking up that um, paint I picked up some um, mobiles to go in the trees up there I don't know if you can see them I'll show you better when the garden's all finished um, I've got a couple of those and they're just kind of spinning around they're really pretty when the sun catches them um, I also picked up one of these lemon plants and that was reduced to four pound with the little lemons on and um, I picked up some bunting because the bunting I've got around the garden is all sort of like weathered it's been up for ages now I'm gonna I think I'm gonna paint the sheds as well grey I'm gonna do all the fences grey so it, it's just I mean at the minute everything's pushed down at the bottom because what I've been painting and um, I got this black and white bunting which I'm gonna hang around the garden I think, I don't know if I paid three fifty for it, it was reduced. Everything seems to be reduced in B&M's at the moment. Um, I bought a few lavender plants from Morrison's, which I've put in there. Um, I've got those new pots, which you might have seen in my haul, like earlier on the year, maybe March, I got those. And I also picked this up from B&M as well. And this was reduced from £16 down to £5. I mean, don't get us wrong, I wouldn't have paid £16 for it because I don't think it's worth it. But for a fiver, I thought it was an absolute bargain and really pretty. So I'll pop that somewhere around the garden. I also picked up these little pots, which were reduced to a pound. So I got four of those um, and I've got the bigger ones of those, which I picked up yesterday and I'll show you. I'm doing some spray painting down on the bottom. I've just done that Buddha head silver. Um, so... Yeah, it's kind of all happening so hopefully by the weekend the garden should be look look at the little madam sitting down there on top of all the pillows um 
by the end of the, the weekend, the garden should be looking so much nicer and we should have everything put back in place. Um, we're going to work on it today and then I'm at work on th Friday and Saturday. So we'll be, yeah, we'll be Sunday, we'll be in the garden all day and get it put right. I think I'm going to put the new egg chair where the table is. I'm going to put the table where the two seater is. But you'll see it all when I put it together. But I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do the table for now. I bought six packs of these tiles um, because I thought if I don't use them all on this table, which I, it looks like I have bought too many, um, then I could possibly use them on the other tables. I don't know why, but the glass on the black tables just doesn't seem to like last. So I think I'm just going to start by, I think it's going to take like three across, two and a half across. You know, I'm just gonna. I've washed the table to get all the dust off, and I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna start on this corner, and I'm just gonna kind of put it up. recording it is. Very sticky. And I'm just going to try and put them up as tight as I can together. error guys I've picked up the wrong ones I've picked up three boxes of these ones and I didn't realize I thought they were all the same and I picked up three boxes of those ones and I actually much prefer the top ones than the bottom ones so I've pulled them two off and re-put these ones on which means I'm now not gonna I won't have enough so I'm probably gonna have to go to back over to um, one below and pick up another two boxes or another one box actually I'm only one box short so I'm just going to put these on for now and then I'll um and it does there's not a match as such but the marbling runs in a certain way so you've just got to make sure it's running the right way and I'm trying to get it right into the like seam of the edge of the table But up to now, I think that's looking quite good. There's arrows on the back as well, and I'm sure that'll be the sort of, so you put them on the right way, so the pattern's run the right way. But you know what it is? It doesn't matter that much. It's, it's a garden. It's not like it's on the floor. That's going to be very obvious. I'm going to go straight over the centre bit because I don't think we'll ever put a parasol in there again, so... Trying to make sure I get them running the right way. making sure I've got no gaps in between because I don't want the water to sort of seep into the gaps. I mean, not that it's cost a lot of money, but it definitely has given it a little facelift, hasn't it? And it's saved buying a new one this year. And that's what it's all about at the moment, is just trying to make do with what you've got. I'm actually doing the end bits that don't quite, where it doesn't quite fit. Luckily, the edging of the table kind of pulls away a little bit. You've got a little bit of play of that. So I've just stuck it down and I'm just going along with a Stanley blade as close to the edges of the table as I possibly can. And it just cuts really easily.
that's not the best cut but I can lift the edge of the table away and put it on top and it looks better okay guys I've eventually finished my garden well almost finished my garden there's still stuff to do like in this area over here which we haven't got around to doing yet but it's as much as it's going to get done for this year so um and i've gotten loads of things at bargain prices which you might have seen in my last b m haul and um, they've got an amazing sale on at the moment so i've got loads of stuff so i'll show you where i go i'll tell you where i got everything from if i can remember so i bought these two deck chairs they were reduced to 22 pound each in the sale um i also this is the finished table actually it's got bits on it because we had a little bit of a family get together last night um so this is the table finished now um and i think it's worked out really well it costs us six pound at the end of the day to do we've got some pims on the go as well so um it's just such a sunny day it's beautiful so we thought we'll just fill that up and have a little drink in the garden um, so yeah, so it cost it basically it cost us six pound to do the top of the table. I got the little self adhesive tiles from um, one below, and they were one fifty a pack, and it took four packs. I've just stuck some bunting along the front of the table. As I've just said, I got the deck chairs from B and M Bargains in the sale. I also got these floor cushions in the sale. I think they were reduced from twenty pound down to twelve pound. This is a new addition to the garden this year, the egg tray, and I've just put some, again, you would have seen this in a previous haul maybe, if you watch one of my previous hauls, this ivy is just light up, it's um, solar powered, so I've just got the solar connected to the back there with the loose wire, and you can't see it, it doesn't stop it from sort of swinging when you're sitting on it, so, and I've just put a couple of little roses around because you know me guys, I just love to decorate, if there's somewhere to hang a flower from or something from it, I'm going to do it, um, these things I got about four years ago and they were yellow, I painted them yellow last year, I just sprayed them with the um, primer from One Below, and I think it was £2 a can um so yeah so it's brightened them up for another year um though you know they're not great the condition of them but put a bit of spray paint on them and they'll last another year um these i've all had since last year um the new pots i got from home bargains which you might have seen in a previous haul maybe earlier on in the year i just i bought some fabric from the market for two pound a meter and it's like water resistant fabric so i just recovered my furniture with that um i got these cushions are the ones i got last year from home bargains and they've been out all year round they are water resistant um i got the umbrella from b m that was 12 pound and i got those um black and white cushions from Shein, and they're actually going to be shown in an up and coming um haul from Shein. and i think i paid like one pound 90 each for them it was something dead cheap i've just hung a bit of that button along the fence i just hot glued it i've also put some little micro lights right around and as you can see i've got solar powered lights going right around the garden so the night time it looks really pretty um i put my wind chime up in the tree along with some of those spinning like mobile things and they look so pretty when the, the light catches them it just sends sort of patterns all around the garden so i've got three of them up there but one seems to be snagged quite high up in the tree um obviously i've had my spray paint out and i sprayed the buddha's head silver um down here we've got i can't go too close to the bottom of the deck because we've got a bee's nest and the bees are going underneath the little box there you might be able to see them coming and going but they don't bother us and as long as they're not anywhere close to peaches i'm fine with them being there they only last a couple of weeks i've painted michael's shed and i also painted my, my own shed and i've done that in the same paint as i painted the fence with which was a gray pa spray paint no not a spray paint a gray like fence paint for actually i can hear buzzing loads they must be very active at the moment um the fence paint was 20 pound a tin from Wilkinson's and I got the Deccan spray pa air paint from B&M's and that was £10 a tub. It's taken blooming loads of tubs of paint though to do this garden. Was changing it from brown to grey. Um, again I put a little bit of bunting along the top of the shed along with that little welcome sign that was reduced from £16 to £5 um, from B&M's. 
and then on the side of the garden we would just sort of sit through the day I've just got the little two seat sofa I've got a couple of those cushions oh, I'll show you the water feature we've got a barbecue over here um, this is the water feature that I got from where did I get from? Aldi and it was £59 I couldn't quite remember in my last haul and that's lovely I've got the little solar pack over there sticking in the plant pot there um, and as soon as the sun hits it um, it just comes on and it's just dead relaxed and it's lovely sitting here um, I also spray painted the um, wood burner with the same grey paint that I've done the boxes over here with um, that £2 spray paint from One Below Peaches is catching a few rays sitting there on the little sun lounger um, so yeah, so I'm really happy with the garden. It's turned out really nice. Oh, I cricketed a little, a little meme there, which says never us underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment in the garden. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much the garden finished. I'm going to turn the camera around so now I can have a little chat with you. Right, just turn the camera around. Um, so yeah, so that's my little garden makeover. It hasn't cost a fortune to do. I, like I say, I got most of the stuff at reduced prices from B&M Bargains. And I've just picked up things in the sale. Um, if you haven't been to B&M's and you want garden stuff, you, honestly, it's got an amazing sale on. Not just on the garden stuff, like on all of the household items. So it's definitely worth having a look over there. Um, but we're just going to have a lovely, quiet afternoon in the garden. It's Sunday today, so... We're just gonna, we've got nothing to do. We had a busy night last night, we had the family over, so um, we've just kind of tidied up and we're just gonna spend the day just chilling in the garden. So I'm really looking forward to having a nice relaxing day. I hope you are too, whatever you're doing. I'm sure wherever you are, if you're in the UK, you're gonna be having beautiful weather today. Um, so have a fab day, guys, and I'll see you on maybe Wednesday or Thursday with the Sheehan Hall and um, I've also got a collaboration video coming up as well and I'm really excited about that with some of the other some of my friends on YouTube um, but hopefully guys I'll see you all in my next video I watch you as you drive do you know